Hello everyone, this is Justin Brock from Bomgar. Today I wanted to take a minute and walk you through uh, using Bomgar on the iPad Mini. Um, I, Apple came out with this earlier in November and uh, we, I think, released support the same day that it came out. Um, before I show you this, I did want to give a little bit, of, we don't expect uh, support technicians to be using uh, the iPad every day from their desk, but it's one of those capabilities of Bomber that's kind of like vPro, that when you do need to use it, you, you kind of look like a hero. Um, so our thinking is that anyone who is a mobile technician uh, can get to all the systems that they could normally get to from their Bombgar desktop rep, rep console uh, from the iPad rep console. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, then I'm going to set this up, and then uh, recording this with my iPhone. So it might be a little bit kooky, but I'll try to show you what it looks like. Okay, here's the iPad Mini, and down here is the uh, Bombgar rep console. So I'm going to open that. The first thing you'll notice is that there's a little bit different login experience for the uh, mobile rep consoles than what you would have on the desktop rep console. Um, on the desktop rep console you just need to enter your username and password. Um, but here as you can see um, there's also the site address for the uh, mobile rep console. The reason for this is that you're downloading it uh, not from the Bomgar appliance directly, but from an app store. So what you need to do is just set the uh, the site name. Here I have demo.bomgar.com because that's the site I'm using. Um, if I were a trial user, if I'm on the, the seven day free trial, um, what I would do is just enter trial.bomgar.com and then my username and password. And of course, if you're a customer, then you enter the site um, to which you're authenticating. I'm going to log in here, and <clears throat> the first screen is going to show me my queues. I have no sessions in queue right now, um, but then down along the bottom, I can see any jump clients that I've pinned. Um, I can see who's on my team. I don't guess anyone is in. Oh, there's a someone on my team with whom I could chat. Um, also up here, I can set. I can send a, a session invite email or generate the session key. Um, so if I were, I don't have an email client set up on this, it's a, it's a work iPad, but um, I could send this URL or I could narrate this session key over the phone to someone um, to begin the session. Um, also I can go in here and set my pre preferences, whether the auto assign or not. Uh, to show on public site or not, and then these other preferences. So, um, but with that said, I'm going to go and jump in on a session. So today I'm just going to use a jump client. Okay, so I'm going to start over. These are my jump clients. Uh, you can see here this is a home server, uh, Windows 03 home server that I built the other week um, from decommissioned B200 parts actually. Uh, this is one of my laptops, this is another one of my laptops, this is another one of my laptops. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, we're just going to jump to my work computer real quick. Oh yeah. Um, this being the demo site, we don't have the uh, the settings set to auto accept. So what you have to do is push play down here at the bottom. And I don't know if you can see on my screen up there that it needs to be auto accepted. So I'm going to accept it. There we go. Now I can chat with uh, well myself in this case. And it's, again, there on the screen. If I want to use the mouse, minimize the desktop there, um, my finger dragging it, I don't know if you can see, so I'm going to drag my finger here, and then also you can see the mouse moving on my screen. 
Um, let me see what else you want to see. Oh, special actions. So those would be here. I can pull up the control panel if I want to do that. Um, any other special action I want to do? Um, I could reboot the computer into safe mode, which I don't want to do. Um, I can change the uh, screen display performance and quality. And there are multiple monitors. So now I'm actually on the secondary monitor, which is black. So there we go. Um, if I wanted to, I could also look at system information. Uh, there's the summary tab. Um, I could transfer this session to, to other representatives. Um, I could deploy a Baumgar button. I could pin this. I'm, I'm pinned right now, I'm deploying a jump client, so I'm going to, I don't want to unpin it. Um, and then, of course, I can exit out of the session. Oh, before I exit out of the session. Um, when you are frustrated with technology, what else do you want to do than shake it? So if you get frustrated with a rep console, uh, you just shake it. Excuse me. And the help appears. So that's one of the things I like about this, uh, this rep console. Uh, but yeah, that's Baumgar on the iPad Mini. Um, hope you have fun with it.